you set it at what thickness you want. And then once these things are squared up, you just start pushing them through one after another. Because okay. I've struggled with with little logs trying to check them up before and just all together a big process. I see you can end up damaging your blades. If one comes you no, know, if one comes loose because you haven't haven't set it up tight enough, you break your blade and end up with a mess. Get those out of the way. If you want. I'm going to go about half an inch, five eighths of an inch. They're just cutting boards, little cheese boards and such. Taking the piece off, cutting, bringing it back, setting the depth, back through again, and then you can only go so far because then the thing get the log becomes unstable. So this way you just go right on through with them. That's a, that's a good thickness, isn't it? Uh, let me look at it. Once that gets... Once it's dry, it's not quite so heavy. I think that's a nice thickness. Maybe a little thinner. What are you thinking, cutting boards? Yeah, for serving, you know, hot plates. You know, like we do with them. I think if it's cutting board, it's a little thinner. What do you think? Where well, do you think it'll like warp? I say, it's going to get lighter because it's, it just seems heavy because it's wet. Yeah. I guess it's good. Yeah, you want a cutting board with some beef to it too. Yeah, that's fine. Maybe just do a couple at the end that are thinner if you want. Thinner? I'd just do a couple at the end that are thinner if you want. Thinner? Yeah. I don't know. What do you think? Because if it's a small board, like a cutting board I have is pretty intense. Yeah, why don't I go, go thinner on some? I'll, I'll do these. These are kind of uh, smaller. Width? So yeah. I'll, I'll go to an eighth thinner on these, on all these. Okay.
used on, on facings on cabinets or uh, furniture, just one after another. Is that what he did? No, I recommended him to do that. But yeah, I want that coming off as horizontal as possible because that's going to it's going to give you a nicer figure in here. Also, it's going to be a lot more stable. If you've got a board like this and then a piece is coming out, coming off the surface of the board, instead of going off the edges of it, it's just going to be real unstable. So that's why we turn this up. If you look around here, you can see it's it got it wedged up because it wanted to, wanted to go down there. But trying to get this to keep from oscillating and naturally when you start to when you don't have it chucked up super tight, you just got it blocked like this, you just want to take it easy as you're going through with the saw so you're not just flying through there and end up with chatter and the whole thing starts moving. That one's solid. Okay. And a lot of guys, they run soap water. I run diesel for lubricant, never had a problem with it staining the wood or anything. That's one thing about keeping them uh, the same thickness, you know, it makes it easier for your stickering. Yeah, I don't know what this will be. Yeah, those busted pieces. <laughs> nice. Cut. <laughs>